Hi guys, it's Dale with The Insurance. Um, today we're gonna talk about an article that's technically the article is highly detailed, but we can extrapolate it out um, because it applies to a, a large group of folks. Um, the title of the article is Essential Liability Insurance for Graphic Designers, right? Um, but like I said, this the, the, the actual nuggets within the article can be applied to, to, to any small business owner. So, so stick around, hopefully uh, what the article entails you find helpful. Um, and that's regardless of industry. Uh, and it's simply because with a small business, uh, owners are looking at every single cost, right? And they're looking at their profit margins. Um, so, so, so any cost must be justified and the coverages detailed in this article are beyond worth it. In fact, I would argue that they are a bare minimum, right? So hopefully you've heard of most of these, um, but, but the first and probably the most important is GL, general liability, right? Um, this covers you for any slip and falls, from things like slip and falls to, 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 to things like slander and, and libel, right? It covers you for any, for all of those claims that customers may lob your way um, and, and say that you're liable for it. it covers the cost for those, right? Um, another very important coverage is property. And it, it's kind of unique because in this day and age, not many small business owners have that brick and mortar space that they work in, right? Now, don't get me wrong, property would, if you do have a brick and mortar office um, or a place in which you do business out of, it will cover that, okay? Um, but if you don't, in, the, in this day and age, a lot of small business owners may may work from home, produce a product from home, sell it on Amazon, whatever the case may be. Um, but it also covers, and this is the this is one of the nuggets, is that whatever you use for that business, right? It may be a computer, um, it, it may be some type of sewing machine uh, where you produce clothing, uh, any telephones, anything that's unique to your business, um, that, that could be kind of called business personal property, right? It's not a, a, a physical brick and mortar, mortar office, but it's very, very crucial to your business. Just remember, property coverage will cover that as well. Um, those are kind of the two crucial ones. There are other coverages that are just as important, but you can add two. Um, those are kind of your workers' comp, right um your 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 errors and omissions right and your cyber liability right work comp you've probably heard before if you have employees it's it's by law you you, you basically have to have it um and it covers if your employees are injured on the job right uh which is obviously important um cyber liability is almost a necessity in this day and age as well. Uh, every time you turn on the TV, you see another company um, suffering a, a ransomware attack, right? So cyber liability, cyber uh, covers you in those instances, which is obviously pretty important because though the ransom on that information you hold can get pretty high. Um, the, the, the other coverage that's kind of a, a quote unquote extra is errors and omissions. And it's a professional liability coverage. It's called ENO. and um, it, It's similar to GL, but a little more specific. It covers you for those claims, well, those lawsuits uh, lobbied against you that claim that you, your work was inadequate or you were negligent in, 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 in doing your work. Um, those are, <clears throat> excuse me, those are kind of coverages that, that every small business, not just graphic designers, definitely applies to graphic designers, but every small business owner should be looking at. 
Uh, and when you do, just keep in mind there's there's something called a BOP, business owner's policy, that that matches and it's geared towards small businesses. It matches your, your GL and your property. And that's kind of like the heart, the center of this policy. Then you can add on things um, so that it so that it obviously fits your risk in particular um hopefully all of that was helpful thanks for stopping by guys we'll chat with you next week